Tutara Gale has lived her life in music. She made her name playing the sound systems of South London and still remembers her first record. Black Woman by Judy Mowat. Yeah, I, I, I felt so powerful <laughs> when I heard that record and when I, I, I had it, it was mine, you know? That was the first record that I bought. It like just she, felt like she was speaking to you. Oh my gosh, she was speaking to me. She was born in Brixton. So your, your brother had a shop He had his here. caterer's shop here, yeah. This used to be a record store? This was a record shop, yeah. And says reggae this was, a record shop. was born in her. This is where we used to come and hang out and, and get the whole vibe of reg uh, reggae music. When you come to these, when the record shops, you hear the real dark, <laughs> dark <dog> music. <laughs> yeah, you know. There aren't many places left like that these days, which is why she's decided to share her story in this exhibition. When you look around and you see these bits of your history and that of your contemporaries, what does it feel like? It feels great. You know, Bionic Rona was... <laughs> I'm looking at her picture now and <laughs> she was a force to be reckoned with, man. You know, you had Sister Candy, Sir Lloyd's sister, Olive Brooklyn, you had Pepe, you had Miss Irie, Tip Irie's sister. It wasn't just about the music, it was a whole movement. It was the way we dressed, it was the way we talked, the way we walked, you know, how we sang. Uh, I, I had a mixture of uh, listening to Jamaican DJs and also listening to the great lovers rock music that was coming out of, of England at the time. So I was able to blend it. And, uh, you know, I think it was quite magical. It was a magical time. I am, I am, yes, I am Sitara has found a way to capture that magic on stage by writing and starring in a play called Legends of Them, a sign that this woman's work is far from finished. Daniel Henry, ITV News.